Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. I just love these little bunnies from the Jatem, if I'm saying that correctly, which I believe means I love you, stamp set. And then we have the Open Heart stencil, which I just showed you. And then there's also the Valentine stencil, which I didn't show you ahead of time because I did not know I was going to be using it in the video, but I do end up using it. So get a load of the new and improved Misty. I absolutely love this thing. There's a little spot for your, your bar magnet. There's a lip so you don't have a problem opening your door. You can see the lines in the door better. They're like a grayish color. I just, I, I'm totally in love with it. So we're gonna use the new Misty. And I'm using some pixie dust to stamp out. We're gonna stamp the bunnies three times. We are not going to color them in. Uh, it's a girl, and then I believe Fiesta Blue, all in Catherine Pooler colors. And then we're going to do a little bit of ink blending with a stencil for the background. So I did cut out three masks for these bunnies on Eclipse. I believe it's Judykin's Eclipse, although I'm not positive. I'll have it listed below for you. And it's like masking paper that comes on a roll. And I stamped them out with some black ink, something that would dry quickly, so I could cut them out quickly. So I'm just showing you that I stamped them out. I don't really show cutting them out. And I hope everybody had a good new year. I did, I sat at home. Look, ta-da, the masks all done. Now we're gonna use the Valentine stencil and we're going to use Mint To Be and then I believe Limoncello. And I just kind of go back and forth. I do all the green ones first and they kind of kitty corner each other like a checkerboard. And you know what? I just realized I was going, I did actually use that open heart stencil. There was a card that I did for this video that I decided I just did not like. And rather than put in a card that I did not like, I redid another card and never ended up using the open heart stencil. But I did use the open heart stencil quite a bit for the new release, so if you want to see any of those photos, you can go on my Instagram and see the open heart stencil in action. So there are my green and yellow hearts, and then I'm going to take some of this purple mist tonic satin effect mirror cardstock to make a frame to go right behind my, my card front. You know, I don't like to waste cardstock, mirror cardstock. I put some double sided tape on the back of that, and we're just going to put that onto the slimline card base. Uh, lately, my slimline cards have been measuring four by eight and a half. So I, I'm com I, I think it's a perfect size for fitting in the envelope comfortably, comfortably, comfortably excuse me. And if you don't want to buy slimline envelopes, you can use the business size envelopes and these will fit inside of there with no issues. I took the two hearts from the stamp set really quick, or three hearts, and I used them on the inside edge of the card. And then I took some of my purple iridescent confetti sequins that come in the rabbit hole designs packages and glued those with glossy accents to the front of the card. Stamped out Jatem right in the middle over those middle bunnies there, and that was it for that card. For the second card, we're gonna do some more ink blending, but first I wanna make my own background. So I'm gonna use Spun Sugar and Milled Lavender Distress Oxide ink, and I'm doing half inch strips lengthwise across my card front. And I believe that makes my card front three and a half inches wide. Uh, we can count the stripes in a minute, just to be sure. And if you notice, I realized one sheet of paper was not going to work. And neither was two sheets, because one of them, I couldn't hold two and ink blend. Hold the blending brush. So I used a piece of purple tape and one sheet of paper to cover up or mask where I was not ink blending. And that went by fairly quickly. So that's one, two, three, three inches. It's three inches wide. 
And now I'm going to take a whole bunch of Nouveau embellishment mousse, whatever I had in pink and purple, and I'm going to alternate with the pink flambe and the royal aubergine, I believe I used for the purple. So every other letter is pink, and then the in-between letters are purple in the word Valentine. And I cut out a whole bunch of one and a half by one and a half inch, well, for the most part. If it was wide and long enough to fit the letter, like the I and the T, then I used scrap pieces. And then just did it individually like this, because it was impossible to do it all at once without mixing the colors together. And it would have been waiting after each individual letter for them to dry, and I didn't want to do that either. So doing it this way went for it by fairly quickly, and I just used a piece of repos repositionable, I cannot speak today, tape, double-sided tape behind the squares to keep them down while I was spreading the mousse. I also did some hearts, and I added a little bit of blue in there. So I have this strip of vellum, which is one and a half inches wide, or two inches wide, I think it was two inches wide and then I used the one of the lawn fawn scalloped edge dies on it border dies on the top and bottom folded it over to make sure that I had the right length and then took it off my card panel completely to glue all the letters on I forgot to mention the most important part in my opinion of the new and improved misty and that is the hinges they are steel or metal encased in a plastic and they look so much sturdier than the original hinges so I'm excited about that as well I just wanted to mention that because I forgot about that when you guys were staring at the misty so now I'm just placing the hearts before I glue down the valentine strip and we're going to glue all those down with Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and then I'm going to glue the strip down because that last heart on the bottom gets glued over the strip. And I made a little boo-boo coming up here. So I take all this time with this vellum strip and I glue it on and I let it dry. And because, let's just say that heart on the bottom, it's a good thing it's there because it's glued right over the strip then I'm looking at it on the panel here and I'm thinking it looks a little plain. So I went back in with a larger uh, lacy edge lawn fawn border die and two strips of gold glittered cardstock and did one on the top and the bottom and I had to trim those excess edges off the short end. Well, when I did that, I cut right here, I cut off a piece of the card panel itself which in turn cut the vellum that was folded around to the back side. I didn't do it on the other side, just on the side with the V. So after I put all the foam tape on and put glue on and flipped it over to adhere it to the panel is when I noticed that my vellum strip was now cut. So we're going to fix that. First I'm going to adhere it to the card panel and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of glue and only put it where the first line of the V is and glue that down. And no one should even notice that it's not folded over to the back. I'm gonna use some of the gold iridescent confetti sequins that came in my rabbit hole designs packages. And I'm gonna alternate kind of like a chevron or a V across the front of the card panel. And that's it for this card, guys. Hope you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email so you can be aware of new releases, inspiration, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now, guys.